back to our channel all about bi this session is going to be um, a common session or a generic session i would say i wanted to cover some faqs on adf okay every now and then i keep hearing from the subscribers and viewers as well as from friends uh, whether adf is suitable for me whether, whether i can get into adf lots of uh, questions around that okay i just wanted to touch upon certain questions that i keep uh, getting repeatedly okay i'm going to answer it in my own perspective and experience if you have any contradictory uh, comment or if you have any better comment i request you to post it in the comment section for the benefit of all right okay let's start with the first question which is better ssis or adf uh, i want to ha- uh, take it in uh, two dimension one is those who don't have any ideal background and those who have ideal background so if you haven't worked in any of the etl tools or if you are a fresher or you are a newbie to etl then it's better you concentrate on adf okay if you know adf uh, learning ssis is nothing see uh, naturally ssis is a very easy technology to learn if you have 10 days in hand you can master the technology and you have lots and lots of documentation and help available on internet because this technology is much much matured than adf but if you uh, want to learn adf without any etl background right uh, you you need to um, spend some time okay knowing the concepts uh, learning the uh, cloud environment basically the basics you want to concentrate so ssis or adf for a new buy uh, i would say go to adf because it has got a lot of opportunities and the future is bright ssis uh, I'm, i'm not sure how long it's going to be supported from microsoft in uh, but adf for sure it's going to rule uh, the future okay so for newbies you can concentrate on adf because it has a good scope for already uh, those who are working in etl to etl tools like uh, ssis or informatica whether adf is suitable for me or not definitely it's suitable it's going to be much easier for you guys because you can relate easily when you learn when you see some activity in adf you can relate it with uh, other uh, technology um, tasks or tools okay so by that way you can understand how flexible adf is for you to work with okay now one uh, best thing that i would say about adf is uh, it never minds about uh, schema or it handles the schema changes uh, very nicely okay um, if it is ssis if there is a small change in schema then the package would fail and there is no means for us to or no way for us to handle it uh, in the package right but in ssis you have a flexibility to uh, handle the schema drifts and all this is one example like that uh, uh triggers okay there are lot many features like this that would uh, uh, make your etl journey very smooth and comfortable so for those experienced people uh, with any other uh, technology background it's going to be a cake walk for you but just that uh, y- y- you spend some quality time in learning the basics and terminologies that's it okay um so all together ssis or adf let's not compare the technologies but let's discuss the scope adf will have much better scope than ssis that's what my answer is okay coming to the second i don't have cloud background can i have a career in adf um there is no actually when i stepped into adf right even i was not having any cloud background okay so none of us are uh, brought up with uh, cloud basics or details right so it's about uh, the interest Okay, if you uh, are interested to learn something then that's it you you will definitely have a career okay in 2020 i started learning the concept since i was knowing ssis i was able to relate it uh, relate the adf concepts with ssis and i liked adf very much uh, because i already liked ssis but when compared to ssis adf was something new energetic uh, it was uh, so nice to work with so i started learning the basics Uh, till now i just know 30% of uh, um, it okay i don't know much but i would like to learn a lot daily i am learning something uh, so if you are interested to learn something um, then definitely you don't need to have a background in cloud you uh, the platform is for you okay you will definitely have a career in adf now okay? right so third question i don't have real time exposure to cloud project can i get a job on the same all right this question will come to many of you okay because uh, you will not get chance to work on a cloud project if uh, your current uh, company or project 
doesn't onboard you to a cloud based project but ask you to work on a traditional tool like ssis or informatica so unless you get a chance you won't have an experience right but uh, you can create that experience by doing hands on by yourself there are lots of questions on stack overflow and microsoft qna platform that you can take as reference okay where do i start where where do i end start looking at the questions you will see lots of scenarios being discussed uh, day in and day out in those platforms just understand what people are asking just understand what people are concentrating on so you will start doing your own um, you, you will start implementing your own use cases the more use case you implement the more confidence you will get okay so that is the answer for that question you 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 can manipulate your resume to some extent to show your capability anyway the questions in interview are going to be based on your resume you can tell i have worked on uh, these many use cases i have uh, um, got exposure on my, my myself uh, but not through company you can tell all those okay so but the thing is make sure you learn or you make your hands dirty on hands on which services do i need to learn to be able to get a job to start with you can concentrate on data factory data lake storage azure blob storage um azure functions as your batch uh, okay so if you have some basics about all this then a rest of the things you can learn in the phase 2 okay logic apps synapse analytics there are lot more uh, to it uh, let's start with the uh, phase by phase in the first phase you can concentrate on the things that i mentioned adf data lake storage blob storage azure functions azure batch right all right how good is the market for azure data factory it's too good i would say okay mm, uh, even though you have experience in etl or not if you are good at the concepts then definitely there are lot many opportunities one thing that uh, I, i can confidently say is go upload your resume it can be a fake resume and see how how much responses you get from the recruiters okay if you mention azure data factory azure synapse analytics azure data bricks in your resume it it has a wide reach okay there are lot many opportunities because many companies are uh, shifting towards cloud from on prem and uh, you definitely uh, get to see a lot of responses from different companies be it from um, uh product based or service based there are a lot many openings coming up so uh if you want to test just upload a test resume and uh, see how it works okay and that's it for this session i hope i answered few of your questions uh, to some extent if you have further questions i request you to post it uh thanks a lot for watching if you haven't subscribed i request you to subscribe thank you